what Live is, it's again a web-based live production platform that brings together in you know, a unified HTML interface, live video mixing, audio mixing, clip and graphic playout, and also uh, replay and telestration. All of that from a completely new user interface that is entirely HTML based, meaning that this is a platform that you could put in the hands of distributed teams they could be working on live from a laptop, from a tablet, anywhere in the world, collaborating together. The heavy lifting actually happens in the cloud where we actually run a microservice version of Prime and Paint and other current technology to actually deliver that type of workflow. So right now, for the sake of the demo, I'm running all of the modules and layout as a one-man den. Now, of course, in, in real life, it's quite challenging to do that, so you would most likely want to have a team and split up different roles to do different things. Of course, this is something that you can natively do when you can have like full screen interfaces for each of the layouts. So you could have a dedicated graphic operator, a dedicated uh, you know, TD, and, and, and someone who does you know, audio mixing, for example. Now, again, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to try to run it all myself. So as, as you log in in the first place, I mean, you get presented with the navigation bar, which given I've got full access to everything, I get to see all the layouts. And you can see already there is the switcher on. And the switcher is actually, in fact, the, the six input sources that we have at the bottom. So these two actually uh, field contributions. So we are actually using any phone uh, that's sending an SRT stream out of the camera, which we are routing here so we could cut during the live show to an actual field contribution. In terms of inputs, I mean, you can have any combination of SDI, NDI, SRT, Zixi, RIST, RTMP, uh, RTP. So pretty much anything that is digital format or SDI, you can throw it in any combination of that. And that's true both on the input and also on the output. So just to keep on going through the tool, so then we have the, the browser layout enable, which actually gives me this interface here, which is essentially where you would start any production by curating you know, this take list to select and curate the content that you think you may need for the production, which can be any combination of graphic assets, images, clips, replay clips. Uh, so they're all sorted in there. Uploading the scenes is very simple. So. If you're in Prime, because of course all of the graphics come from Prime, so you design in Prime, and two options. Either you synchronize through Cameo, so you have a Cameo setup that automatically distributes any project you want into Live, so it's seamless. You log into Live, your content is there. Or you could do a manual push. In the Live Designer, we have actually added an uploader that's actually going to push the content that you want, that you select manually to the Cloud Live instance. Right, so you get to choose. One last thing on graphics, of course, because they are Prime graphics, the data binding travels, so anything you data bind in the scene construction automatically lands here. You don't need to do anything. So if this is fed by data, it's automatically updating. You can also expand, and these are the replaceables, which you can override manually, or you can trigger actions from there directly. So, I mean, obviously update the, 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 the text, so you could change, you know, trigger next bullets if you have like a bullet list, these type of things. Moving on to the actual production, so then this is when you would go to the playout interface, which in this instance we are running two graphic channels, each one with preview program, and then two clip channels that are separate as well. A very standard keying functionality at the bottom, so you key your graphics this way, they light up, and anything you load, so let me take this is graphic two, one click puts it in preview, second click puts it in program, so very simple. You could also do a very simple drag and drop, that works as well. Or you could use for five space workflow the numpad. So the IDs that you see there, I could use. I could say, okay, so I want my three, load, play, right? So this is very, very simple. 